Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel and to my December favorites video. We're now several days into January 2019, it's hard to believe, but I still wanted to take the time to sit down and really reflect on this past year which ended as such a blur. Of course December is always kind of crazy and hectic because the the holidays but this year we had even more to celebrate because I got married on December 8th in Winter Park. We immediately went on our honeymoon to Hawaii for a week so there was some travel mixed in there. We came back, we hosted my parents for Christmas and the holidays, we rang in the new year. So many incredible blessings and memories and great experiences. It was such a beautiful month and there were also some great beauty products as well that I fell in love with so I wanted to just take the time and share and spill a little bit with you guys and hopefully you guys will do the same I want to know about your December what your favorite products were so leave them down below in the comments so I have some skincare, some makeup, and then a few miscellaneous products to talk about at the end. But I am going to start with skincare. And I know I mentioned in the introduction that we did some traveling in the month of December. So when I packed my bags to go to Winter Park for the wedding, which I did my own makeup, and then go to the honeymoon, I had maybe four or five cosmetic pouches filled with makeup products, skincare, and brushes. Now when it comes to packing, I am somebody who prides myself on being very smart. Anything that's travel size, that's multi-use, those are generally the things that I will take with me. Of course it was also my wedding, so I wanted to have everything that I possibly would need for the occasion. So I had to do some rearranging and then I think I only took two bags with me whenever we went to Hawaii. So these are the items that I loved for the month of December because they were so convenient. They worked really well. They're great products in general, but then they're travel size. So I have these two that I think I mentioned in my November favorites that I got from Caudalie, which is a beautiful skincare brand. Their eye cream, and then this was the little moisturizer that comes in a nice little travel set, which I'll link below. These are incredible. I love having nice skincare, even when I'm traveling on the road, because that's generally the time where my skin will act up. You know, you're eating out a lot in restaurants, or you're changing your diet, you're changing your lifestyle. Having some nice travel size skincare items was amazing to have with me on the trip. So this was my wedding day skincare, my honeymoon skincare, and these products were awesome. Highly recommend Caudalie in general. And then whenever I returned, I had never experienced such bad skin <laughs> after a trip before. I've had worse skin, of course, in my life. But it was a lot of sunscreen, a lot of just being out in the sun and hiking and sweating and it definitely took a toll and I had a lot of breakouts and little bumps on my chin. The only thing that really helped me get back on track was another Caudalie product that I had mentioned before. And this is their Blemish Control Infusion Serum that has salicylic acid. It's not super drying. It's very... Um, how do I describe it? It feels like it's working and it's effective, but it's not super astringent on the skin. It doesn't have any sort of burning or bad reaction. So this has helped me kind of hit the re reset button, but do it in a very gentle way. The last skincare item that I have to mention is this Eve Loam Radiance Face Mist. This was sent to me complimentary to review and I absolutely love it and it really did not leave my side for the month of December. I was so happy that it arrived before my trip because I was able to take it with me and even though it is in a glass bottle, I was very careful when I packed it and I had no issue whatsoever. This was really nice because it's a multi-use product. Something like this was great for whenever I was traveling, getting on and off the planes. I could instantly refresh my skin, but also it helps to prep before makeup, and I used it to set my makeup as well. What I love most about this mist is the scent is incredible. It's so light and fresh, and also the mister is very fine, so it just gives you a very light spray and it's incredibly hydrating. This brand, Yves Loam, has become one of my favorites for skincare. Everything that I've ever tried from them has been incredible, so I highly recommend this. Moving on now to makeup, the star of the show for me in December was this Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
This is the first eyeshadow palette from this brand that I've ever purchased. I've only used their brow products and I know they are very popular. We have them at Nordstrom and I always see these palettes and think they're very beautiful and I play around with them a little bit. I've used them a couple times I think on clients but I've never wanted to purchase them. So I read some reviews and I had seen this Norvina palette when I was thinking about my bridal makeup and how I wanted to look on my wedding day. I wanted some pink kind of ethereal shades in there as well. Of course earth tones and this palette sort of hit all of the benchmarks and then I saw some reviews that were all glowing about this palette so I picked it up and sure enough it is so beautiful. I am so impressed with the pigmentation, how the shadows apply, the little brush is really great that comes with it. It has a nice mix of mattes and metallics and then you have more earth tones, some jewel tones. You can really create such a wide variety of complete looks with this eyeshadow palette. That's exactly what I was looking for. It's the only eyeshadow palette I took with me for my wedding day, took with me on the honeymoon. I ended up not really using it that much because I didn't really do a lot of makeup while we were on that trip, but this is something that could easily go with you anywhere and you can do so much with it. These next products are not new, but it's new that I've been using them all together. So if you watched my bridal makeup tutorial, you know that I used Dior Air Flash with a little Trish McAvoy Beauty Booster Oil and the Tom Ford Glow Drops all together on my wedding day. And this has been a killer combination. There have been so many times in December where I mix these three together and it looks so beautiful on the skin. It's the perfect dewy, radiant, glowy, soft look. So how I do this, how I apply it, is first on the back of my hand, I'll take a little bit of the glow drops, I'll mix in a drop or two of the Beauty Booster Oil, swirl it around, get that on my brush, and then I go in and I spray my brush with the Dior Air Flash and then apply it to the skin. And there's something about this combination that is so right. It's really beautiful. I know that these three products together are probably a lot. I haven't done the math, <laughs> but this is probably a lot for one foundation application, whereas you could just use this. But if you're looking for a special occasion, if you want glowy, radiant skin, these three together is such a great match. And speaking of little trifectas, I also have three products that were my three go-tos on the honeymoon. So as I mentioned, we went to Hawaii, we did a lot of outdoorsy things, we went snorkeling, hiking, we went on a whale watching tour, we did road trips, we were outdoors a lot. There was not a lot of time for glamming up and doing crazy makeup. So the three products that I actually used the most, really the three products I think there was basically all I used. I did the Touche Claw All-in-One Glow from YSL. This product is so nice because it's hydrating on the skin, it gives you a little bit of coverage, but it's just very lightweight. I used my Tom Ford highlighter. So this is something that I did bring with me. I used it on my wedding day and then took it on the honeymoon. This is my go-to highlighter. I used it as eyeshadow. It just gave me a little bit of glow because that is something that even if I'm doing very minimal makeup, I think it's one of those products that doesn't take a lot to make a big difference. And then blush. I used my NARS Liquid Orgasm Blush. A little bit goes such a long way. I'm starting to see that it's like going down in the little jar, but I'm don't know how because I use such a small amount and it just looks so beautiful. It looks so natural. So these were really the three products that I used while we were in Hawaii. And then of course, Wedding Day Glam. These were the three products that I swore by and I've been using this. Those six things have been in my constant rotation ever since. I'm going to close out by talking about just a few little miscellaneous items. In my November favorites video, I mentioned that something that I had splurged on for the wedding and honeymoon was this rose gold Instax, and I picked this up on sale from Target. If you are even so much as thinking about getting one of these types of cameras, 
do it. You will not regret it. I had so much fun with this little camera. It's funny how those little products or those little gifts that you treat yourself to or somebody gives you that at the time you think, wow, this is kind of cool, but then you end up having so much fun with it. That is what happened in, he in this case. I used this on my wedding day, took it with us to Hawaii, and it was so much fun. You instantly see the photo, so it's really cool to have that instant gratification, but it's a cool way to build memories and take little photos from trips or special occasions that aren't on your phone. It's kind of fun to have an older style camera to collect those memories with. For anybody who's curious, these earrings are from Lauren Hope. I've mentioned them before on my channel. They have beautiful costume jewelry. You can find it at Nordstrom. I wore their earrings on my wedding day and I've worn them several times before. They're so beautiful. If you watch my videos, you know I love costume jewelry and finding unique pieces. And I got these in the mail whenever I came back from the honeymoon. And they're so beautiful. I instantly fell in love. They're definitely my style. But I wanted to give them a little shout out because they're also perfect with the heart little shape. They'd be great for Valentine's Day or date nights coming up. So if you're interested, I will link these down below too. I have been in the market for some good slippers for a very long time. Anytime I get a cheaper pair or some that aren't as substantial, my sweet, loving, beautiful little mini poodle Jazzy destroys them. She has gone through so many slippers. <laughs> but these she has not touched and I will not let her get near them. These are my new pink sparkly house slippers. These are Uggs, which I've never really been drawn to Uggs. I know they're really popular. I've never owned a pair before but they're very cute. The pink sparkles drew me in. And as soon as I stuck my foot inside, it was done. They are so comfortable. They're so warm, they're so soft. My sweet darling husband loves to keep the thermostat freezing. So it is always frigid in my house. And so having warm slippers that are fun and sparkly is really nice. They're starting to be broken in, so this top part when I first took them out of the box was really hard, but now they're starting to scrunch and crinkle a little bit, which is nice because they're sort of molding, I think, to my foot, which they definitely will soon. I have not taken these off since I put them on the very first time. They're so comfy. I know they were on super sale and these tend to fly as soon as they get marked down, but if I can find these, anywhere online. I will link them down below. They came in gold, black, silver, so lots of other colors if the pink doesn't really do it for you, but these are so cute and so warm and comfortable. Very practical, even though they don't look practical. And that completes my December favorites video, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me any of your comments, your questions down below. As I mentioned, I love hearing from you guys, so let me know what your favorite products were for the month of December. If you did anything fun or special for the holidays, maybe you just hung out at home, which is sometimes the best way to spend the holidays, just eating and enjoying your friends and family and we'll keep the conversation going there. Of course, I will link all of these products mentioned down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.